Hi, welcome to Frame and Fiber. I'm Paige, and I'm so glad you're here. Uh, in this really short video, I'm going to share just a small part of a framing project that I was working on last week. Um, there's some magic that picture framers do, and this is one of those things that people are always wowed by. So I hope you find it interesting. Thanks for being here. So I'm working on a really cool project today. This is an architectural drawing of a house that was built for a family back in the 90s. The Frank family, my customer, bought the house and wants to have their name put on the drawing. And so I am removing the original name to put their name. And so I'm using a straight razor or straight blade to scrape the ink off of the surface of the paper. Very light pressure. And then I follow that up with this vinyl eraser. The vinyl eraser helps remove any of the ink residue that the blade didn't scrape. going in there one last time to scrape away any of the extra ink and the name has been erased. And so the next thing I'm doing is just tracing the letters of the original font to spell out my customer's last name. And luckily, all of the letters I needed are here. I didn't have to make any up. So first I'll do it with pencil, get the spacing I want, and then next I will ink over the pencil. I'll place that in the space that it needs to be in, and I'll grab my pencil again, transfer it onto the front of the paper. Here, I realized I need to extend that underline because Osborne has one more letter than Frank. And now I'm inking in the letters. You'll see there that I have that piece of paper and that's just so I can make sure that I don't have any blobs of ink <laughs> on the tip of my pen. So the letters stay nice and clean. This is blotting or me blotting the, the ink because I need to see that there was extra ink. And if I had put my ruler on top of those letters, I would have smeared it. I think it looks pretty good. It matches. The spacing is good. Now I'm just going to go back in with my razor blade and kind of scuff up what I did. So that way the new letters match the age of the old letters. I think my customer is going to be really happy with the end result. I'm happy with the end result. <laughs> it looks really good. Well, thanks for being here. I hope you found that interesting. And I guess I'll just catch you in the next video. Comment below if you have any questions. Um, yeah. See you next time. Bye.